This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, not Pixar's best. For over a decade, the words Pixar films have conjured up images of beautifully animated, well-crafted movies whose themes appeal to adults and kids alike. Six months ago, the studio summer hit Inside Out lived up to this, which is all the more surprising to those who view The Good Dinosaur with similar expectations. While the animation in The Good Dinosaur is arguably the best so far of any animated movie, period, its themes and messages are extremely simple. Those looking for deep messages or expecting Pixar Star's usual crossover appeal to adults, best look elsewhere. This is a movie aimed squarely at kids around the same age as its likable protagonist dinosaur, Arlo, who in human years would probably be around 9 or 10 years old. The Good Dinosaur is set in an alternative world where the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs missed Earth. Instead of dying out, they have continued to evolve to the point where they live in communities and run farms. However, they have to deal with pesky critters who occasionally raid their crops and cause mischief. These critters are none other than humans who mostly run on all fours and act like dogs. Think three steps below the stereotypical caveman to get an idea. It's one such critter, Spot, who sets in motion the series of events that make up the plot of the movie, which is the literal and emotional journey of Arlo, who goes from being the timid runt of his family to the scrappy survivor as he attempts to find his way back home after he's accidentally separated from them. And that's pretty much it. While the characters of Arlo and Spot are engaging enough, they aren't enough to make this movie work. While you could do worse, you aren't missing much if you skip The Good Dinosaur. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on the Take Two Movie Review page on YouTube.